Hello, my name is Fabien Giro, and I will show you how to configure Layer 2 VPN using IMC, mainly uh, VPLS. So first, I will connect to my IMC server, which is IMC 7.0, and I will use IMC, of course, and also MPLS VPN Manager module. So let me log in. Login. So first, if you don't have the MPLS VPN Manager, what can you do? First, you can make some configuration templates here in order to deploy your configuration of your Layer 2 VPN. My example is some VPLS configuration. So, okay, let me wait a few seconds. I need to click on the correct link here. So here you will see that I already added a VPLS configuration templates for Comware device. So here if I select the VPLS Comware example, you will see the template I want to deploy with the corresponding parameters. So here you can see the VPN instance with the ID, the root distinguish ID, and the target. And after that, you have the interface VLAN, and at the end, the BGB configuration. So you can see different parameters, VPN instance ID here, also here, and here. So only need to be specified once when you deploy, and other kind of parameters. And if I want to deploy this uh, layer 2 VPN configuration, it is very easy. For example, from here, I can click on deploy. And then you will see the deployment wizard. So first step is to select the devices on which you want to deploy the configuration. So I will select one router in my configuration. Sorry, here. So, for example, I will select my. I don't know which one, this one. Okay. Okay. And after that, I can decide if I want to deploy in running or startup configuration. So, I will select the running configuration and I click on next. The next step is to specify the parameters in the configuration template. So you will see the different parameters in the next window. And I can specify the different value. So for example, VPN instance ID. I will put VPN1 root distinguish ID. Uh, the example, this one. And VPN target ID. After I have also a parameter called VLAN ID. This one, for example. The original IP address and subnet. So I will put 10, 10, 100, and I don't know, 1. And mask 24. The BGP AS ID, ID should be, for example, 11. An IP address of CEP should be something like this. And BGP AS ID of the CEP 20. 12, sorry. Then I click on Next. And here I can decide when I want to deploy this template. So I will do only once and immediately. Concurrently, yes. And at the end, I can see a summary of the task that should be executed. And what is interesting here is this link, which show me the complete configuration with the parameters which will be deployed. So I can verify the VPLS configuration which will be deployed.
So here you can see IPN, VPN, distance, VPN1, root distinguisher, root distinguisher and so on. Okay. And if I click on finish, this will deploy the configuration. So the task will execute. And at the end, the configuration should be deployed on my PE. And now, if you have the MPLS VPN manager, there are some easiest steps in order to configure your layer 2 VPN. So here I won't wait because my routers are inaccessible today, so this will fail in few yeah. This will this is normal. So with MPLS VPN Manager, you can see here some MPLS link like MPLS management, MPLS VPN management, MPLS traffic engineering management, and layer 2 VPN. If I select the layer 2 VPN manager, here, you can see different options. So first, we are waiting, it is loaded. First, VPN devices. So VPN devices, here you can see your all your PE devices you imported in IMC, in this module, and all the CE also. So if I select the PE devices, I can see the list of the PE. So here, you can see two routers, and you can view the details for these routers with the current configuration on these devices. So you can see the LDP, the PBB, VLL, and GRE tunnel. And also, you can see the CE devices you imported in this part of the module. So if I select CE devices, you will see the list of my CEs. So this one is, yeah, it is reachable. So I can view different operations I can do on it. So for example, I can add some VLAN mapping to this device. So you specify the CVLAN and the SVLAN in order to make the mapping. Okay, and after that, you can also see other options, for example, to manage the VPN resources. So you can see the, the list of all the VPN and AC already defined on your network. So presently, I won't have anything since my devices are not reachable. But here, you can see the list. And from here, you can deploy some new layer 2 VPN, VPLS, VLL, or PBB. And you can do this also in the VPN deployment part here. For example, if I want to add a new VPLS, I click here. And after that, there are different steps. First one is to select if you want hierarchical PE or simple PE. So I select hierarchical PE. So you can see here the image change. So you can see CE and two hierarchical PE. And you can, for example, put a name. So I will want to add a new one. You can also select an existing one already discovered or added in your configuration. So let's put VPN1, for example. Okay. VSID, yeah, this one should be good. Uh, transport mode via VLAN. You can put a description, my test, for example, and a contact. Then I click on next. So next step is to, se to select your PE. So now I can configure my PE first. So, two options. I can select only some PE devices or I can directly configure uh, AC. So, I will try to configure AC. So, I will select a device, for example, this one and this interface. Okay. And I can configure the option, for example, the instance of the service, 12, bandwidth in megabyte, megabit. Uh, let's put 10. And encapsulation type, 
let's select yeah let's select svid encapsulation vlan should be 10 and access type is vlan i click on ok so you will see that ac is added here and p is added here so next step is to configure the second part of the hierarchical pe architecture so the same i can select only pe or directly ac so let's select this device on this interface okay and i will put the same okay and then okay I should select uh, which is the main NPE in my configuration. So main NPE should be this one. And OK. Then the next step should be to configure the CE. So as I already said, since my MPLS architecture is unreachable, I will click on next, but I will have a timeout because it is unreachable. So I can't finish the configuration, but as you can see, it is very easy and this is a kind of wizard which really helps you to configure your VPLS architecture. And by the way, yeah, you can also see that automatically the PW list is configured in my wizard. So thank you and see you for the next video.